Does anyone know what a synchronizer is? You know, who know. Tell us, Mr. Audio. For many years, film editors used Moviola synchronizers that would keep several reels of film, typically one picture and three sound reels, with usually only one audio playback head, in sync during editing. At the mixing stage, multiple sound reels were kept synchronized using Selsun motors on the dubbers and projector. In the 1980s, when Simpty Timecode Chase Interlock systems were introduced, a synchronizer was a piece of electronic hardware that could read and compare two incoming timecodes, one from the master and one from a slave machine. It would adjust the speed of the slave machine so that it would first locate to the timecode of the master and then run synchronized with it. In the late 1980s, early 1990s, digital audio workstations were audio only. So like the Chase Interlock systems, these DAWs needed to be synchronized to picture using a double system arrangement. However, for these workstations, the synchronizer functions were built in, so they didn't require any external synchronizers. Today, synchronizers are generally unnecessary, since most editing systems can handle audio and video on the same timeline. This allows the editor to see picture and hear all of the audio tracks, something that wasn't possible with the Moviola synchronizer. It also allows the editor to jump anywhere on the timeline and instantly hear the audio in sync with the picture, something that wasn't possible with double system interlocks. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.